Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee and welcome to your weekend edition. Yes, it is the weekend, TGIF. I hope you guys had a fantastic week. Um, I ended up, I'm going to be honest, even though it was a bit rocky, you know, towards the middle of the week, uh, I am feeling much better at this point energetically. The collective energies are feeling better. They're feeling better than they have been. Things do feel a little subdued today, um, a little mellow. Um, maybe it might, you might seem a little depressive. As you can see, just from the setting, it is a little bit, um, a bit gloomy. Uh, there isn't as much sunlight. It's quite, it's, it's pretty overcast. Um, I do have my blinds open and my windows, I'm sorry, and my, my lights on, but it's still a little dreary. Um, so it, I'm not gonna lie, it's giving me a very, very fall feeling. Fall is coming. Um, I mean, it's not, it, there's a, so the, the, e is it the equinox? The fall equinox is not until late September. I, wait, is that right? I believe so. Maybe not. October? It's October. Okay, well, whatever. Um, I just feel, I, for some reason, I've been feeling fall coming. <laughs> Um, and so just, just the kind of dreary, gloomy nature is just giving me that energy of like, you know, mornings where the sun, it doesn't come up right away and blah, blah, blah. The days are short or whatnot, whatever. Anyway, I'm, I'm rambling. Um, but anyway, it still feels, the collective energy still feel good. All right. So, uh, two things. One, um, I have, I do have the pre-shuffle energies here, but I want to, before I get started with that, I want to point out that yesterday I turned all of my cards in this deck upright. Um, I have figured out how to shuffle them without them going reversed. And to be quite honest, using this deck with reversals was giving me anxiety. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, there's a lot in this deck. And I know some of you in the past have said that you, you questioned whether or not it was even necessary to read reversals, whether or not, you know, the two sides of the cards represented a reversal or an upright position. It's not quite like that. This deck works in the ways of seeing things from one side and then another side. It's just seeing a flip side of the situation. Doesn't necessarily mean that it would be like a reversal energy okay and so that's why I kept them reversed um, but it was giving me anxiety so I turned them all up uh, right side up and I'm going to still read reversals if they come out that way but the everything is up right now and then also for our Oracle section I have decided since I used the dragon Oracle yesterday which I bought for working with the masculine energies. Today, I figured why not use the um, this this oracle deck that I will be using to work with the feminine energies since I'm gearing up to start doing Twin Flame or Divine Union, Divine Partnership, Divine Mirror, whatever you want to call it. I'm gearing up to do those readings again. And so I figured let's work with the feminine deck and it is this deck called Love Your Inner Goddess by Alana Fairchild. Now this is one of the decks that one of my dear friends gave to me when she gave me a bunch of her decks, uh, which includes this Lenormand deck and this uh, Dreaming, Ra Dreaming Way Tarot that I've been using for morning coffee. So today our Oracle Guidance is going to be coming from this deck. Now, I haven't used, used it that much. I did take about 10 minutes this morning before I started recording the video to pull a little bit of a, an introductory spread for myself for the uh, with this deck and it was a beautiful like it was beautiful and it actually had so many messages for me the cards just kept coming out um, so I'm excited to continue working with it all right so that's gonna be our Oracle guidance for the day so let's get into your pre shuffle energies I'm sure you guys have been staring at it so you're kind of like ooh, what does this mean but here is the fool all right we've been talking about this fool energy basically all week taking some sort of leap of faith, all right? Um, now, this... I, I, <laughs> okay, so this could really be anything. Um, you know, I'm, in my head, I was picking up, I was wanting to give examples of what this could be. And so I was going to say, for me personally, this, this, this meaning in taking a leap of faith, starting something new, has a lot to do with me getting back into Twin Flame readings, okay? 
It could be anything for you guys. But specifically, Spirit is saying, and they're kind of, they're pushing me to say this. Spirit is saying there is a leap of faith happening or coming in terms of divine unions, divine partnerships, okay? Um, and what I'm picking up on specifically, even if you don't necessarily know have not come into contact with an individual that you might be perceiving could be a twin flame or a divine partner or a potential divine union mate. There could be some leaps of faith. There could be some actions taken. There could be some moves made in a direction that could lead you to a divine union, okay? That is literally, I, I don't have cards that say that right now other than really the fool or maybe the three of wands. Um, because the Three of Wands in your overall energy here um, is about being, oh, actually, no, that's so not true. I am lying to you. But I do have a card here that would say that. But the Three of Wands could say it because um, the Three of Wands talks about being on your path, being, you know, in the right place at the right time. I'm hearing the timing, divine timing is coming into play. Divine timing is correct. But this is overall energy, okay? And also in this deck, you do have the Emperor here. Um, and, you know, the Emperor is the, the ruler, the master of his own domain. The Emperor does represent the ma divine masculine energy. It could be the masculine, that the, the individual that embodies the dominant masculine energy in the connection that could be making this move, okay? You could be traveling overseas. That's what I'm seeing, that the Three of Wands can represent um, travel, movement. The also, with this Four of Cups energy that's here, there also is some sort of travel. Now, it could be the Divine Masculine individual or the, the, the individual that embodies more of the Divine Masculine energy that could be making this move, or it could be maybe you're the Divine Feminine or the individual that embodies the dominant feminine energy. And you're making some sort of moves in your life, in your uh, uh, either that would lead you to this connection. Either way, the moves that are are being made are in alignment with your path. That's what this Three of Wands is saying as the overall energy. You do have the Four of Cups, so there is an energy of leaving the past behind. There could also be an energy of travel. This is another card that's giving me. And it, now, now the Four of Cups doesn't necessarily um, represent traveling, um, moving overseas, or, or making a big change. But because of the way that it's depicted here, you do have a boat that has set off to sail. There could be, now this, this could be very similar to the Six of Swords energy in, sense, in the sense of moving from rougher waters to calmer waters. Whatever it is you are leaving behind, it could be seen as leaving the past behind you because you do have these four cups that have spilled over. None of them stand anymore. All is not lost, and yet I feel a victory, I feel a sense of relief in somebody moving forward, moving on in whatever way. Either you're moving overseas, you are, um, eventually this would take time. I'm not saying that this is gonna happen right away, but you could potentially end up moving overseas, you could potentially move into a new state, you could potentially move to a new city, a new area, a new country, whatever. Or this doesn't have to be a physical move. This could be just an emotional move, right? Leaving the past behind you. Now, there is one card that represents divine union here, and it's none other than the Four of Wands, all right? And you see how the sun is shining on this union? Yes, these people's backs are turned, but that's okay, because what I'm feeling from this scene is that we're watching them dance underneath the sunlight. Mm-hmm. Four of Wands. To me, I want to say this is almost an established energy. Like in an energetic, on an energetic level or f from an energetic space, you're already dancing in this union. You're already celebrating this union on an energetic level. For some of you, maybe some of you already have come into union. I do remember some of you did mention, someone mentioned that they were, they had um, just uh, either moved in or came into union with their counterpart, something like that. Oh, look at that, the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. It's this side of the card though.
it's a nighttime scene. There is like a night, there's a, an individual approaching this fountain. It's almost as if someone is wishing upon a star for some sort of guidance, for some sort of opportunity. Um, I'm feeling like for somebody out there, it's like you found someone that you could, that could be the love of your life, that you could, you feel like you could really have, ah, uh, yes, you feel like you could really have, wow, a very good relationship with this person, <laughs> holy shit. And as I'm saying all of that, okay, you're finding that you really could have a, a really solid foundation relationship with this person. And with that Ace of Cups, it's like someone was approaching that a wishing well to wish upon a star to figure out some way to come together. You have the Two of Wands with the Three of Wands again. All right, and this time it's the other side of the Three of Wands. So this to me is giving an energy of planning, trying to figure out how to move forward. Both of these cards have some, this, this person is holding something in their hand, right? On the two of wands, it looks like someone is trying to make a decision. On the three of wands, it's they've made that decision and now that energy is balanced. Masculine, feminine, fire, water, whatever. Someone is trying to make a decision. Someone is trying to figure out how to move forward, how to get to the person they love is what I'm hearing. You have the Ten of Cups. Again, it's a dreamy situation. How do I get to this Ace of Cups here? How do I get to this person? Sorry, the lighting is not the best, but how do I get to this love here? And then you have the Six of Wands on the backside. Victory. Doesn't quite look like the way you wanted it to. It looks like it's come after a bit of after, like there's a, quite a bit of aftermath there, isn't there? It's the very end of that battle, and yet victory is at hand. You really just have to figure out the logistics of how to reach this person, how to reach this whatever. And there is a big focus on the stars, the universe. Allow the universe to work out all those details for you. You just need to stay in your abundance, your abundant power. Just stay in your abundance. And allow the universe to work out the gory details for you. Yes? Last one shuffle. All right. And now we're going to get into the rest of the reading for the day. For the weekend. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our weekend of Friday, August 23rd through Sunday, August 25th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Five shuffles today. All right, five shuffles. So I'm seeing purple and I'm seeing yellow. All right, so there are still some downloads that are streaming in. There's still some clarity that's, that's making its way into your life. Things may not seem all that um, apparent, I wanna say abundant, may not seem, um, this is shuffle number three, may not seem to make much sense right now but again that's because this stream of consciousness this understanding is coming in at the moment all right this is four you're still assimilating you're still integrating you're still you're still needing to make a, a little bit of sense of some things and i say a little bit um because i don't want to encourage anyone to start racking their brain trying to make absolute sense of everything now that could be something you may fall into you may slip into with mars being in virgo right now but refrain from that as much as you can allow the assimilation to happen allow the pieces to fall where they're gonna fall don't try and make them fall anywhere right now just allow it to happen just allow it to settle. And then you can work to make sense of the pieces as you move forward 
along your path. Yes? One last shuffle here for our weekend, August 23rd through the 25th. Ooh, okay, we're good there. All right, here we go, guys. One last, one last shuffle, but that would be six. Just do it. All right, all right, all right. One last shuffle. Here we go. All righty, guys. Let's see what we've got for the weekend. For our weekend edition. Friday the 23rd through Sunday the 25th. Weekend edition. Please, spirit. That's enough. All right. Okay, here we go. Overall energy is the magician with the four of cups again. Okay. I'm hearing unrequited love, but what I feel is like there's a fear of some sort of unrequited love. Ooh, six of cups is sideways. Okay. We have the strength card, justice, nine of pentacles, nine of wands, six of wands, again, the star, 10 of wands, six of cups, but it stays upright, they say, and the eight of pentacles. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, y'all, here we go. <laughs> okay. There is a lot of focus on the masculine right now. Now, this could be because we're speaking to individuals that represent or that embody, mass, dominantly embody masculine energy, or we're speaking from the place of the masculine energy within you, okay? Meaning the action that you're wanting to take. And I know yesterday we were talking about potentially someone starting, uh, some people starting new businesses, starting a channel, starting a, a, a Reiki practice, stuff like that. So that could be um, a reflection of the action that you want to take in your life, which would be representative of the masculine energy within you. All right. But we have strength here um, with justice the nine of pentacles and the nine of wands. And look at here, it's strength, this side of strength that we've been dealing with all week. Well, more than just this week, I think last week also. Needing to stand up to the devil. Um, and with this side of justice here, it seems like the scales of justice and the sword of truth have been discarded and have been so for a while. I mean, the scales are just, are, have just been thrown to the ground and then the sword of justice or the, I'm sorry, the sword of truth is like stuck in the stone there and it looks like it's been there for a while because there's a vine growing. There's some sort of, there's some sort of plant that's growing on it. So it's been there for a hot second. It's been there for a minute and yet you still have this butterfly which does symbolize transformation, all right? What I feel like is happening here for you, either for this masculine energy or for this endeavor that you want to manifest with the magician here, um, there has been a, a good amount of injustice for a long time. For a long time. And what I feel like is going on here is you've been scared to stand up to this injustice because this injustice is represented by the devil in the strength card, all right? You could see the devil as, I believe this is Anubis here. It's the god, it's the Egyptian god of the underworld that, that weighs out, you know, your heart over your soul, is it? And whichever is, depending on the density of one or the other, you're either um, I don't know, a, a, a loud passage into heaven or you're thrown into hell or something like that, whatever. I don't really know that um, mythology too well. But I think you guys get what I'm saying. This devil in this, the devil in this strength card here could be seen as this god, I believe this is Anubis, running amok because that's kind of what this side of the card symbolizes. Justice has been discarded and now this... The, 
Anubis can run amok and devour the souls of anyone. Oh, that's it. You, the, the, this, this, this god either devour, devours your soul or you're released into, I guess, heaven, whatever. I don't, I'm, I'm butchering this story, but I think you guys get what I'm saying, right? But through that, through this experience that you've went through and this injustice that you have had to face for some time, you learned and now you're able to face it. Now you've come to this nine of pentacles state, albeit with nine of wands tacked right on top of that. Okay. No one said this was easy. And yet here you are in a very abundant state. And you don't, and this abundance doesn't have to necessarily look like anything in the physical just yet, because it all starts internally first. Now, obviously, the Nine of Pentacles would represent physical abundance, physical autonomy, you know, independence. But you would need to have that internally first. And I do feel like you do have it. You have something to give. You have something to share with the world, okay? Now, wow, I get it. Um... The magician with the four of cups here is definitely talking about manifesting your new. Now, it is this side of the four of cups. And now, remember, in the, oh, the pre-shuffle, the other side came out. It was this side. Okay. Um, and I almost want to say, what I want to say about this is it's, it's like, it's almost like you're sitting at the shore, all right, looking at, every, looking at everything that has spilled over that no longer stands for you, that you're needing to leave behind, waiting for this ship. And okay, yeah, and the world is <laughs> waiting for this ship to take you to your new destination, to this new land even. And here you are at the world, which is under, this really wanted to show itself. This is underneath the Four of Cups. Completion, endings, cycle's over. And yet still there's some sort of feelings of inadequacy. But if you're feeling inadequ inadequate with that five of pentacles, it really has a lot to do with the establishment trying to get you down. It's this devil energy. You have to remember you have to remember that you are. Yes. You see, you see how that the nine of pentacles just fell on the magician like this. You have to remember that you are ever abundant. No one can stop you. It doesn't have to, you don't even have to look, it doesn't have to look like it right now. You don't have to have an overflowing bank account right now. You don't have to have a really nice house or whatever physically for you to be abundant, for this to come to you. You have to embody it internally before it can show itself externally. So please don't forget, please don't let this devil scare you into believing yourself to be something that you know that you're not anymore never really ever were to be honest but now you know for a fact because you've been through it okay you know for a fact that you are capable of anything the magician anything let's get into the rest of these cards here this feels like um this is like the setting up here more of like the overall energy and this is kind of like the advice, I guess. You have the Six of Wands with the Star and the Ten of Wands, all right? Victory is here. And it looks like with this apparition appearing, this, this specter of a man appearing before the woman in the star, it looks like your manifestations, your wish fulfillment is appearing. It's starting to come into form. But there are still some things that are burdening you. And that would be your former self. You see that statue behind that man? It looks just like him. That is set in stone. All right? That's the past. That's what I'm seeing right now. That is your past. And you're moving on from your past, yet you're still carrying all of these burdens. I'm hearing there are some things that you need to carry. Okay. But there are others that you don't. Okay, which leads us to the Eight of Pentacles with the Six of Cups. Now, it's the Six of Cups is this side, 
Whereas on this side, you have the daylight. This is where, you know, the soulmates or the, the old friends or whatnot. In this case, I think we are talking about soulmates, but in this side of the card, this is where they meet. And they're having a good time, they're hanging out, and before you know it, it's nighttime. And Papa Dukes is standing up there like, yo, homegirl, homeboy, it's time to come home. This side of the card represents needing to detach, needing to separate yourself from the euphoria of this divine connection, this soulmate bond, whatever, and do your work on continu continuing to do your work on crafting yourself. Eight of Pentacles, crafting whatever it is you need to craft, which would be the work that needs to be done to release the burdens of your former self. No one is asking anybody to completely detach from them, from to completely forget about, let go of, and move on from some sort of divine partnership, divine union, soulmate bond that you may have come across recently. Well, what the universe is asking you to do is maybe take a step back because there might still be some work that you still need to do. Now, you are absolutely encouraged to do your work keeping in mind this soulmate bond that you have, keeping in, keeping in mind the happiness that you might be experiencing. Now, this Six of Cups energy doesn't have to be a soulmate bond. This could be especially if we're talking about some sort of business opportunity, like for those of you that are looking to start a channel or are um, getting into Reiki or getting into some sort of new business venture or whatnot that actually is spiritually oriented, most likely. This is your mission work, yes? This is this Six of Cups represents the contract that you made, that you, that you designed, or the, the work you chose to do upon entering this incarnation, and I am seeing 9-11 again. And 9-11, it's 9-11 a.m. for me right now in the United States. 9-11 is a call to action, a light worker's activation code. And as we're talking about this, I'm seeing 9-11 right now, okay? So in terms of this business, if this is a business for you or your mission work, you're needing to step back from the euphoria, the nostalgia, the excitement, not necessarily the excitement, but the, I don't know how else to say that, but to step back and start getting practical. Start putting the pedal to the metal. Start putting, like I said yesterday, the ax, no, not the ax, the hammer to the anvil. And yesterday I said that that is, that is, um, I cited that from Water Baby Tarot's uh, special channeled message. And it's so funny because I, I have another computer right here. And as I was doing this reading, I got a notification that someone liked the comment <laughs> that I posted on that video. I thought that was a cool synchronicity because it's coming up again. Okay, so that video is very important, very poignant. That is a very important message. I'm going to I'm going to try and remember to put a link to that video in the description box or maybe not in the description box in the um the comments section of this. I'll pin it at the top of the the comments so you guys can check it out if you haven't been able to check it out or if you haven't been able to find it. Okay. All right, cool. So now I want to get some clarification and I'm going to do this in three parts. I'm going to start here. Yes, and we're going to use the Golden Universal Tarot for this. Maybe I'll do this in three part, two parts. I'm not sure. Not quite sure. All right. We're going to start with this side here. Ooh. Aw, look at that. All right. Well, we already have our clarifiers for this part. Um, <laughs> so I'm starting with the strength, with strength, justice, nine of pentacles and nine of wands. Um, and I have flyers. You saw me, I was shuffling and these po cards popped out and it's the sun. Now the sun did pop out a bit sideways, 
all is not lost here. What the sun is is basically corroborating is in what I said about you have learned a great deal from whatever a, they keep saying this is Anubis. Okay, fine. If it's Anubis, if it's an if it's Anubis, it's Anubis. If it's not, it's not. But I'm just gonna I'm going with what I'm being told here. Um, you have learned a great deal from the injustice of Anubis or this demon or this devil running amok, devouring the souls of the people around you, maybe even of yourself. Right? That's, pr that's fairly symbolic. Obviously, a devil or a demon hasn't devoured your soul. <laughs> you guys get what I'm saying. But you've learned a great deal. So the sun is not only the best card in the deck, the most optimistic card in the deck. The sun is not only saying everything is going to be okay. Everything is much better than you think. But also, the sun represents illumination. The sun is the clarity and the un understanding. And then you have the ten of swords here. Okay? With the queen of swords. The worst is over. The worst is behind you. But you need to let, allow yourself to be in the mindset of saying, the world, I'm, yes, the world. I was going to say, well, okay. The world in the sense that the world is the last of the major arcana, right? So the world is the completion along with this Ten of Swords. But I was trying to say, the world, shit, the worst is, <laughs> the worst is behind you. And the Queen of Swords says, great, put it there, leave it there, let's move on, right? Don't allow yourself to slip into any of the emotions anymore. You've dealt with that already, you're done, let's clear it away, let's move forward. And she's not saying that to devalue your emotions. Your emotions are valid. But what we are saying here is do not allow your emotions from the, the past circumstances to continue to keep you from moving forward. All right? Excellent. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. We're going to go over next. We're going to go here. And this is giving me a very strong, very, very strong vibe. Um, the star, the six of wands with the ten of wands. This is giving me a very strong vibe of uh, divine union, divine partnership. I'm hearing the lovers. Um, but also, this star energy could represent your business. Now, that could, that absolutely is... Um, very much now keep in mind also the star is number 17 and it is 917 right now and i've been seeing 17 consistently throughout this reading but that's so cool um but now the star could represent um also could represent your mission work a business and endeavor but that would come from a state of inner union as well okay so it's still oh my god i'm not wearing my necklace it's still the same energy um Sorry, guys. Hold on. I want to get. I, wanna, I just realized I wasn't wearing my. <laughs> I'm not wearing my onyx. Um, but the star. Uh, you being on some sort of mission, right? You getting into your mission work now. You settling into that part of your life, does come from a place of being within inner union, divine union with yourself. Ooh, which is representative, or which is represented by the lovers. Yes, but there are still some burdens that you're carrying from the past that you need to work on letting go of. All right, so let's, let's get some clarity on this. I guess what I want is some definition. What I'm feeling like I'm looking for is definition of what this is here for you. All right. And then we can look into the work that would need to be done in order to release this Ten of Wands energy. So, ooh, look at that, the Four of Wands. Again, the Four of Wands came out in our pre-shuffle, kids. This is union. This is a union. I mean, that's the only thing that's coming out? Good golly. What needs to be released is this sense of lack. This Five of Pentacles keeps popping up left and right. You have what it takes. 
The five of pentacles here, that is this ten of wands energy. That is the energy from the past that you are choosing to carry with you. You have to let this go. This is five of pentacles energy is also indicative of this devil that you're needing to stand up against. Saying that you're not good enough, that you will never be good enough, that you will never have enough. How, how comical, how laughable, how hilarious it is to think that you would even be able to fathom the fact that you could actually do this. <laughs> yeah, that's the devil, honey. You need to just laugh right back in his face. Be like, fuck you, actually, I know I can do this. And actually, I think it's pretty funny that you think that you can scare me into believing that I can't. How about that? How about them apples? <laughs> Good golly, Miss Molly. Okay, so with that said, this is definitely a union. Either this is union with yourself or this is union with a counterpart. And also what I'm getting here is that with this Ten of Wands, I'm sorry, you guys can't see it anymore. With this Ten of Wands energy, it's more than just feelings of lack that are holding you back. There are also still some elements to your previous life that you're not quite done releasing yet. This could be physical circumstances. This could be contracts that haven't quite expired yet, but are about to. Um, there are still some things that need to be closed out. Okay. One of them being this lack mentality, but that's gonna be an over ongoing thing, all right. But there are, I'm getting with this Ten of Wands energy, there are some physical elements to your life right now that need to, just need to work their way out, that need to be released. Again, timing. The timing is correct for everything to start moving in this direction, all right? But there are still some things that need to be worked out so that you can have the clear and open space. But, but here's the thing about it, and this is where this Five of Pentacles energy is kind of coming into play. You have to remember and recognize that you have achieved the victory already. I'm hearing it's written in the stars again. You have achieved this victory already. So it's really only kind of, basically it's only a matter of time before these burdens are fully released and you can move forward, all right? Now, getting to this Six of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles, originally I was saying that the Six of Cups was like, I was like, okay, let's, let's come back home now and let's, let's do the rest of our work. Let's continue working. We've, we've established the connection. Okay, that's great. But it's time to come back home, get grounded a little bit more and, and put the, the, the anvil to the, I'm sorry, the, the hammer to the anvil here, yes? But it's also about recognizing that the universe has has helped lead you here okay there's more star there, there there are more it's more of a starry environment so you have to have faith in the universe that the universe will help you complete the journey i mean they've led you here already right the universe didn't lead you here just to i just saw 38 38 on the counter that's 11 11. the universe didn't lead you here just to let you down and that's where we get that's where we slip up. We think, oh, this is some sort of cruel joke. This isn't going to happen. And then we sabotage it. We can't let that happen. We got to keep working. Okay? And I do want to point out, before I get the official um, um, clarification for these two cards, look at the magician. <laughs> look at the magician. It kind of looks like the sun is rising, doesn't it? which is a good contrast to the starry energy, right? Because now the sun is rising, you're about to be ready to take action, to move in a new direction. Okay, let's get some clarity on this. Six of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, please, Spirit. What do you need us to know about this right now? Interesting, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh man. <laughs> a lot, apparently, okay. Overall energy, justice. Justice is being served. Now, we have a whole stack of cards that fell out over, good golly, Miss Molly. 
All right, we have a whole stack of cards here that fell in reverse on this. So I'm going to leave that for a second. We have the Hierophant, the Tower, the Knight of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Ten of Cups, Nine of Swords. Whatever you are working towards is leading you to this fulfillment, ultimate emotional fulfillment, whether this is just your mission work or whether this is a divine counterpart situation. And it absolutely could be a divine counterpart situation, and I will tell you why in a few moments. Now, also, for some of you, this could be a situation in which you, part of your mission work is in being in a connection with someone, all right? That's coming through. But there is anxiety. Why? Because you need to make a decision. Two of Wands again. And, and this could really be travel. I mean, travel has been coming through so strongly lately, but look at that. I mean, this guy's got the world in his hands. Where do I go now? Where is my mission going to lead me to? Words. But there is fear. There is apprehension. There is feeling like, I don't know if I can do this, or I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm capable. How is this actually going to happen? Don't worry about that. Don't worry about the specifics. Don't worry about the minute details. The universe has that under control, okay? Three of Pentacles, self-mastery. Teamwork, though, mission work. The Tower, the Hierophant, the Knight of Wands. This straight up is breaking down the patriarchal societal bullshit. The status quo. Favoring light and illumination and ascension and expansion over dogma and control. Spreading freedom, love and happiness over fear and conformity. That is your work. That is what you've come here to do. Now, there are some things standing in the way of this, and that would be these cards here. <laughs> the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Lovers, all in reverse. This is fear. The Queen of Cups in reverse being very, very emotional, all right? But I don't even want to read it that way. This is disbelief in yourself and your abilities. Potentially your, emo your, your intuitive abilities with the Queen of Cups, but your healing abilities also, because cups, the water is a very healing energy, right? It's like you know this is coming, your intuition has been speaking to you about this. You're, you're feeling this, your empathy, you're feeling this empathically. Wish fulfillment is here, is coming, is on its way. Divine partnership, divine union, whether that's within yourself or externally, is coming. And yet there's still some things from the past that are holding you back from that, that you're not quite believing in yet and yet all of that fell on the sun I don't know how else to explain this it's like it's coming I'm hearing you have it in escrow okay it's not quite here yet it's on the horizon and there's a, still a little bit of fear But it's coming. Justice is, in fact, being served. Okay? All right. So now let's, get, let's close out the reading with your oracle guidance for the weekend. And we are using the Love Your Inner Goddess oracle deck. So this is, I, I really feel like these are loving messages from... The Divine Feminine. Encouragement, yes? Especially for the masculine. The masculine individual or those of us that are working directly 
with and through our mas divine masculine energies, okay? One last shuffle. And here we go. All right. Oracle guidance, please, spirit, best message. To close out our reading for this weekend. Ooh. We got two, so I'm going to take them. We have card number 12, Princess Save. Yeah, Princess Savior. And then we have card number 21, Starborn. I love it. All right. Wow, look at that. That's a mirror image, 12 and 21. That's cool. That's really kind of cool. And for some reason, I don't know why I feel like I want to point this out, but this woman here on card number 21, Starborn, she, doesn't she kind of look like Cher? <laughs> I don't know why that's coming through. I don't know. Maybe that'll be, maybe that will be, um, that'll resonate with someone. Actually, it's funny because I did just see Moonstruck. Uh, was it last weekend? Maybe that movie has some, the, the message in that movie or whatever has some significance for somebody. Okay, but here we go. Card number 12, Princess Savior. Uh, I think what I want to do, because this is broken up into two sections. It's inner reading and then spiritual guidance. Okay, I'm just, I'm being set, I'm being told to just read spiritual guidance. So here we go. When you realize that you are strong enough to save yourself, which you are, you never have to be afraid again. As well as inner strength, you have inner wisdom. Deep within, you must know when something or someone or is, I'm sorry, deep, deep within, you just know when something or someone is or is not worthy of your time, energy, and attention. The most precious treasure that you will ever have is the divine gift of yourself. There is nothing that is more valuable and no one that is worth losing yourself over. You don't need permission from anyone other than yourself to decide to walk away from what isn't right for you or to stand your ground and honor your values or to say no and refuse to give in to social pressures. You can be open to help and grateful for assistance, but you also know that whenever you need it, you have the power to learn, to act, to figure it out, to find the love within that will empower you for the life that you deserve. I like that. I like that a lot. So next we have 21, Starborn. And actually, Starborn is one of the cards that came out for me when I did a little mini personal reading this morning. So that's really cool. There is stardust in your soul. The earth loves you and you are meant to be here. But you may feel in your heart that you have come from some other place. Human, may, human behave, behavior may not always make sense to you. It may sometimes seem unnecessarily cruel or selfish. As you let yourself fall deeper in love with the earth, enjoying her creativity and beauty, you'll learn to hear her in your heart. You'll understand your purpose and why you chose to bring your starry-eyed soul to her as a human being living the life you are meant to be living. You'll realize that there are certain ways that you can help others to open up to the wisdom that your heart already knows. We cannot always understand why things are the way they are, but we can always make a positive contribution towards healing change. Your life mission is to be happily you in the ways that feel most true, to fall in love with your life here on earth just as much as you feel love in your soul for the heavenly stars. You are meant to be here, shining as a beautiful, loving star on earth. Beautiful, guys. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee Monday morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.